So what if you're in a situation where you've got quite an odd distribution? I know this distribution isn't odd, but um, it does kind of suggest how you might summarise the data um, using other statistics. You could get the minimum and the maximum for your distribution, but that doesn't say much about the values in the middle. So this will be the minimum and the maximum. It really doesn't, tell, in my view, tell you much at all about the data. Obviously, the median might be a good way, to, which is the centre point, a good way to get a measure of centrality. But if your distribution is really quite odd, one way to measure the spread of a distribution is using something called quartiles. There's two quartiles. The lower one is the value that 25% of the data are below. This would be the first quartile here. And there's an upper quartile, which is the value where 25% of the data are above. So we've got an upper quartile here. So here they're labelled Q1 and Q3. Sometimes they, they are alternatively called the 25th percentile and the 75th percentile. So the quartiles are a way of summarising the data. And that, if you remember that box and whisker plot, that had the quartiles on it and summarised them you know, these statistics, the minimum, maximum, median, and the quartiles. And between the quartiles, 50% of the data, the middle values of the data are going to lie. So it gives you a feel for the spread of a distribution, but of course it doesn't actually measure the accuracy of the median itself. It just tells you how much the data are spread about the median. But it is most suitable for use with medians because you've got the 25% point and then the 75th percentile and the median conveniently falls in the middle as the 50 percent percentile. For our plate, our normal calves for the platelets measurement, I think we had a mean of si about 601. The median's quite close, it's 594. And then the quartile was obtained from that, so we've got 478 is the value below which a quarter of the data lie. Another way of describing it, Q25, the 25th percentile and then the upper quartile was 724 so 25% of the data were above 724. The other possibility is to give the range you could give that too so that was naught up to 499. So that's an alternative way of summarising continuous data and it's probably the most useful one to use if you really think you've got a, a very skewed or odd distribution.